Right, what is up guys? Kieran back with another video. Um, this Today's video is going to be a uh, how to install GTA 5 mod menus video because I know a lot of people are asking, asking me for that. I mean, like, I, uh, I was going to do it and then I just didn't get around to it so I'm going to bring it out today. Uh, it's, it's really simple. All you need is a USB, a PC, and a lap, uh, uh, PS3. So that is PS3, USB, and uh, I can't even remember what I said. Yeah, only three things: PS3, USB, and a PC. So it takes about half an hour to do. Um, but if you mess it up and like destroy your PS3 or PC or something or anything, I'm not responsible, I'm not going to be held responsible for that, so that's my disclaimer. So this is all in your own hands, take this as you will, I mean you can do what you want with it, but I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to be held responsible for any uh, destructions of any PS3s or PCs or anything like that, so keep that in mind. Um, so now that my disclaimer is out of the way. I'll show you a few things what this menu can do first and then we'll get into how to install it. And I know people are always I know people are gonna moan about this video saying what is it, you shouldn't like record your screen with a camera, you should buy a capture card, all this, blah blah blah. I'm not gonna buy a capture card for the sake of making like two videos and get over it, you know, and deal with it. If you wanna watch it and know how to install mod menus, just shut up, sit down and watch pretty much. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Um, so this this menu comes with uh, 39 actual menus. This is the mod manager. It comes with uh, 39 menus. You've got uh, car menus, rank editors, money editors, um, just uh, je uh, menus in general. Like so, you've got K and K Dark Horse, which is a uh, pretty good menu. That's that one. I mean, you can like. Alright, for starters, let me get out of this car. And, uh, Alright, so we'll go on, go on that. And uh, if you click on your own name, you can do money drops and stuff like that. I mean, I've got enough money as it is, as you can see. Uh, you can set them on fire. Uh, you can do, like, a lot of stuff. And you can clone the player of your choice and you can do it like times, that number there you can do like times nine, you can make like another nine of them. Obviously don't make too many or it, it probably will crash. You can put a safe on them. And you can, uh, you can do a lot of stuff. You can, um, what is it? you can spawn vehicles and everything like that. You can change into uh, monkeys and stuff. It's pretty good. You can do fat girls in bikinis and do like aliens and dance moves and stuff. Um, and everyone, everyone who was saying my last video was was it a fake generator? It wasn't. The link got banned by someone, so I had to upload another link, um, which I'm going to put in this description, like the description of this video, so you can uh, you can download this menu for yourself. I mean, it's really good. It's a good menu. Uh, so some dudes just spawn on top of me, so I'm not sure what he's planning on doing, but hey ho. So you can spawn like whatever vehicles you want, speedboats and uh, FIB cars and stuff. Uh, yeah, this is pretty good. You can do a lot of stuff with this menu. And uh, one of the things that I like doing is uh, flying cars. That's pretty cool. The yeah, fire truck. You can uh, be a train as well, for some reason. Yeah. I'm not sure why it gives you the ability to be a train, but you know. So you can, uh, you can make them fly as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, so you do that, be a cool, and then uh, you can put rocks on it as well, which is pretty intense.
put a race boost on horn as well, which is pretty good. So when you when you horn, well, usually it works only when you're in a car, but. Um, yeah, this menu is pretty good. I don't, I'm not sure really what else there is to show you, to be honest. Uh, there's a bit of everything. You can do any, anything you can think of, pretty much. Um, but I'm just... My mind is blank with idea, I can't think of anything to show you. Uh, yeah, you can change the colour of your vehicles and stuff. See, it's swapping through the colours now. I mean, you might not be able to see it, but it is actually changing colour. It's going like blue and orange and stuff. You can uh, give yourself God mode. You can do um, super jump, super run. Good, as you can see, you can uh, do cars drive on water, a bit of everything really. I mean, this happens if you run too fast, too like too far, too fast. That will happen. You can uh, change the weather. To whatever you want, uh, you can teleport. Spawn things as well, so you can spawn like those UFOs. Asteroids. Alien eggs, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and just, it's a good menu. So now I'm going to uh, get into the ins installation part and see you in a minute. Right, so basically you're just going to want to follow, follow the link in the description and uh, it will come up to a page called AdFly I believe and then up the top right of the page it should say skip ad so you want to skip the advert and it will take you to a page called Mega where you can download the, uh, download the mod menu from and um, somewhere in the sort of middle top sort of range of the page it'll say uh, download as zip or download to cloud or something you want to do download as zip and that will download to your computer and uh, that'll be in your downloads so once you've downloaded that uh, you want to extract it onto your desktop and it will come up with a little file called ps3 only the file called ps3 will work if you have any other file and you put it on your USB and try and do it, it, it won't work. So you need to file PS3. So extract it until you find that. Uh, stick that on your USB, and then you are nearly ready to go. So go over left to uh, system settings. And like I said, I'm not going to be, I'm not, I'm not the, uh, I'm not going to be blamed for any anything that goes wrong with yours. I'm not the blame. Right. So once you're in here, you want to go down to format utility, then you want to do format system storage, and then quick format. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. So once the uh, once you've formatted it, it will say quick uh, quick format. So you do that, and then it will restart and everything. And once you've uh, formatted it. When you format, you will lose all your game data unless you put, unless you uh, move it over and put it onto uh, USB and put it on your PC. I advise doing that if there's anything you want to keep. So once you've formatted, come over to system settings again, do backup utility, restore, and then uh, it will say something like USB. You want to click that, and then it should come up with GTA V on there. You want to click that and then uh, let that reset the PS3 and everything once that's all done load up GTA 5 and uh, you are good to go you'll have to do the installation for GTA 5 again the whole 8600 megabytes or whatever it is you'll have to do all that again 
admittedly it does it is a bit of a drag it does take a while but it is well worth it um, you can go online and put UFOs on people's heads and stuff and just mess about and have a good time so if I were you I advise getting this it's pretty good I enjoy it me and my mates use it and uh, it's easy to easy to do so yeah I, I would recommend doing it if I were you but it's at your own caution obviously I'm not gonna be I'm not involved in your PS3 destructions of your PS3s or anything so I that's all up to you. I mean, if you break your PS3, that's your fault. I'm not going to be to blame for that. Like I've said a few times now, I'm just warning you. This is not a, this is not my fault. Nothing to do with me. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.